I am so excited about this bill for many reasons, uh, but mostly because I'm a parent of a medically complex child, and I didn't even know that that's what it was called. <laughs> But I was reading through here and I thought, okay, I guess I fit that bill. My husband and I are blessed with the awesome responsibility of helping our baby girl um, walk through daily dialysis. Um, when she, in, in, up to transplant in the fall, my husband's probably going to be, we're hoping going to be her kidney donor. Um, so we, she was born, she's the first kid ever on record to survive her condition. We had her 28 weeks premature in Oregon and we had planned to have her at, up at Hopkins. So all of a sudden we're trying to figure out uh, four days of labor that morning. We're excited she's alive, she's breathing on her own and well where are we going to take her and what are we going to do? And it set off a flurry of calls. You know, the folks in our area were, had never treated a, a baby that young in that way. And so they said, we have to transfer. But where do we transfer? And how do we get there? And who pays for it? You know, we're fortunate. We have health insurance. And even with health insurance, it was a battle. Our medical um, needs span about three states and so a team of medical specialists. We're up in Seattle for management of dialysis. We go down to uh, Lucille Packard for transplant workup and then we stop in in Oregon and Southwest Washington every now and then. So it is an unusual journey that we didn't expect to be living, but I, we've been there. We are there. So what if we had had Medicaid and in Washington state, we wouldn't have had the ability most likely to transfer because Medicaid, which is supposed to be this amazing safety net becomes this roadblock for these families. So we have to do something. And I'm so excited that doing the right thing saves money, right? That's awesome. Um, it's going to make Medicaid, uh, bring it kind of from a 19th century system into a 21st century system. It makes sense. Um, and I also believe that we're going to make care more efficient and effective for families. Well, that's why this is going to make it more effective and more efficient to, do, to create a model around them. And what I love about this is, is we're talking about a medical home not within a brick and mortar building, but in a region. So if you have a specialist in downtown Seattle, but you're at Seattle Children's Hospital, they're going to help contract and collaborate so you get the care you need, but you don't have to be the medical expert. So this is a win-win-win. It's bipartisan. We're thrilled about it. It's a good time to push for it, and that's what we're going to be doing.